Writing allows me to be honest. It allows me to confront things. It's being bold when you're a more reserved. It's being brave when you're really vulnerable. It's an outlet for emotions, for things that you want out of life. I am a social worker. I work in child protection and I'm also a writer. And I am in the Masters of Fine Arts program in creative writing, fiction. And everything is really writing related, it's quills. And then this here says I write because I dream, I dream because I write. My job as a writer is to give a voice to those who feel like they don't have a voice. So early on, you know, I would really approach the family violence, the systems, the broken systems within families. And I would write about, you know, these characters who were living these very like, tough, um, difficult lives. And I think the very first manuscript that I ever wrote was about an androgynous teen. The teen was struggling with a gender identity and it kind of takes you on a journey of that person's life and the things that they encountered, um, kind of living on the streets and trying to find their own way and losing people that they loved in terms of community violence. And there's a love story in there because there's always a love story in everything that I write. And when I did my most writing and my probably best writing is when I was going through a bad breakup or lost somebody dear to me or some worldly frustration. I think in my writing I can take what's happening to a character, how they view their situation, how their peers view their situation, um, and really expose the inconsistencies. We're supposedly more accepting, but yet we still have youth who are struggling and who still don't feel accepted, who still want to harm themselves or take their lives because they don't feel like they fit in. Um, so I'm bringing those themes to the forefront to remind people that this is still happening. Writing teaches acceptance, and I think that in today's society, we need that probably more than ever.